Okay, God bless y'all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to share with y'all briefly a topic about annihilation. People think that that's a false, um, a false doctrine, but it's actually um, their false. Um, and this isn't even personal. This is just about, um, you know, open up the door because, you know, every so often when I get challenged by um, people, I haven't been challenged about this in a long time, but um, someone asked me, uh, about the worm, the worm dieth not. And they're like, you know, the worm dieth not, the worm dieth not. And I was like, you know, the thought came to me immediately when they kept saying that in my head, just echoing the worm dieth not, the worm dieth not. And I'm like, the thought just came to me, who cares if the worm dieth not? The soul that sinneth shall die. <laughs> you know what I mean? The soul that sinneth shall die. Okay, and that's, and we have to understand what, I think that we, we become too, um, prideful this isn't personal i thought that i knew i thought things that i thought i knew like we always tend to think that we know things that we think we know and um so it's like therefore i'm not even going to go into that i already know no actually you don't know <laughs> and what my brother roy used to say to me a lot was um um let me like when people would always say, I already know. Well, he said to, he used to say to them, let me um let me add to what you already know. <laughs> because sometimes we really just think we just got it, you know, just you know, we just got it. Like that's just how we are as people. It's not even um about individuals, it's just as people. We just think that we got it. Sinners feel the same way, um, saints feel the same way, every religion thinks that they're right. Everybody thinks they're right. So anyway, um, yeah, so the soul that sinned shall die. Um, there's two deaths for a sinner. You know what I mean? But it's just that in the body of Christ, the large majority of us are false because, and it's not even false in the sense of deceiving people purposefully, but people are just deceived. They're just ignorant. It's really just actually ignorance. And, um, you know, Paul even got frustrated with that situation in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. He was like, he called people fools. You know what I'm saying? He called people fools for not understanding the resurrection. But um, yeah, so the first, the first, the first death, right? The first death is like the second death. Death is death. And if you think that death isn't death, let me enlighten you. I'm gonna go straight to um John 11. It's just that one is the flesh dying, the other is the soul dying. Well, actually. The other is going to be the flesh and the soul dying because he said he's going to cast both body and soul in hell. And so, but that first body died and then it just resurrected, right? So, um, John 11, because, because this is all, this is all Jesus. Like, I'm not making nothing up. Everything you, you hear me say, I could always prove it in scripture. Also, to say that immortality is, um, that sinners don't have immortality. That's another thing. Like, you don't... Let me explain something to you. Immortals don't die, okay? Die, you have to research what die means. Die is what you think it means for the flesh, but you're just not willing to accept for the, for the, uh, for the soul. Okay, so John 11. Okay, and let me just also say this. If you believe that people will not die like the human body dies because the the reason why i say the human body dies is because the human body dies and they just waste away it goes back to the dust well it's the same thing with the soul the soul the word the word um um perish means it, it means um cast away or to like to go away like you know what i mean uh also, the word um, immortal means um, imperishable. So, immortal means imperishable, but Jesus said repent or perish. <laughs> okay. So, then you have to ask yourself, well, what's perishing? Okay. Perishing is somebody who's ruined, somebody who's destroyed. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not a... It's not something that doesn't end okay death also means a bad end okay all right now death is an end to something okay 
like how he says the um the 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 law is dead right it's over death is an end to something okay all right now but people seem like they don't want that i don't know it's almost like you have to um discern your heart actually <laughs> like maybe you need to like like do you like i don't know but stick with the words life and stick with the words death and you'll do yourself some justice in understanding these things. Because we think we know what the word eternal means. We think we know what the word eternity means. We think we know what the word ever means. Because forever is not a word in the Bible. It's for, and then it's space, and then it's ever. Ever is its own word. We think we know what the, those words mean. Okay? Um, But the soul that sinneth shall die. Okay? Who cares about if the soul, who cares about if the, the worm dieth not. We're not here to, we're, we're not here to judge the worm, okay? And the worm is a gnawing worm. It's a worm that is, is I looked it up in the Greek um, because that's what it was spoken in. You can go to Bible Hub, you can go to Interlinear, and you can find out what that word means. It's not hard. This is not stuff that's hard to find out. Plus, it's just a worm like we've always known a worm to be a worm. It's just, what are we doing, like? Everything is really actually is simple put. It's just that, you know, just like the word forever. You say forever when you're at the red light. It's just that you switched it and made it something else when you're talking about the soul. But it's it's forever like the light. The word eternity and eternal means age long, okay? The word ever means at what time. It literally means at what time, question mark. That's what it means. At what time, question mark. That's what the word ever means. The word eternal means age long, okay? Um, the word death means a bad end, okay? Um, you know, because we're talking about context here. We're talking about the soul. So that means a bad end, okay? Um, and then Jesus says here in chapter 11, 25 and 26, he says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, Though he were dead, okay, though, meaning though his physical body was dead, yet shall he live. And whoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. He's talking about that soul. That soul shall never die. He said, he said, believest thou this? Now that's what you have to ask yourself. Believest thou this? Do you believe this? That the soul will die? Okay, he said in Ezekiel 18, uh, he said in Ezekiel 18, um, Verse, verse four, the soul that sinneth shall die, okay? And then he says in Ezekiel 18, uh, 27, he shall save his soul alive. That's talking about those who are righteous. Those who are righteous, he said, he shall save his soul alive, Okay. So we need to understand these things. This is Ezekiel chapter 18, verses 27. So it's funny when people say, I can't believe in a God like that, you know, where somebody, you know, died from, um, there's small little sins and, you know, they didn't probably have great big sins. They, Cause you know, everybody who dies, everybody has to die. Everybody's not a great sinner and they're dying. Everybody's not a great sinner and they're dying. Some people are very, some, some people died with less sins than you. Okay. And um, the thing is that Jesus forgave you, but in them rejecting Jesus, that doesn't mean that he's going to cause them to have an unending death. They might have an age long, um, because unending death is actually an oxymoron. There is no such thing as an unending death. Death means end. <laughs> death means an end. There's not an unending end. And also you're explaining to people that they are immortal. The only immortal are those who follow Jesus. Okay. That's all that's immortal. They get, they are given. Cause first of all, you have to have an immortal body to be immortal. <laughs> okay. You have to be given an immortal body to become immortal. Okay. And immortals, immortals don't die. Okay. They don't have an end. That's why they're immortals. So we have to really be careful, especially when we call ourselves teachers, and we have to be very humble, okay? Being humble is everything. And I want to explain something to y'all, 
what I've told the Lord in all my getting, where I've received understanding, in my own personal secret place, okay? Not something that's broadcasted for everybody to know my life, but in my own personal secret place. I've always told the Lord, and I'm sharing this with y'all, and I think I probably said it before, but that, Lord, I don't know this. And I thought that I knew, or I think that I know this, but Lord, help me to understand I don't know this. It's like you're rebooting. You know what I mean? It's like when you fast, right? You fast in three days, your whole your whole immune system reboots after fasting in three days. So, so reboot, reboot your brain, reboot your understanding, reboot some things you just got to reboot, okay? Um, when Jesus Christ died on the cross, there was an end, okay? He died on the cross. But, th but that dying on the cross was an end more than what we think, and, and this is a revelation right now, because his soul did not sleep. So when he died on that cross, and this is hallelujah praises to the Lord, that was him dying to the law and resurrecting in the fullness of the fulfillment of the law. Okay. Because because and he was and he was he fulfilled it, he fulfilled it out and he and he resurrected in the fulfillment of it in the new life, okay? So, and this new life is what we live, but he preached to the, to the spirits, okay? Not to dead souls, because they wouldn't, otherwise they wouldn't hear him, okay? Dead is an end, right? So they're, so if they were dead souls, that mean the lake of fire already caused them to perish. No, they were sleeping souls, okay? But their body is dead, okay? So, these uh, dead souls were not being preached to, okay? It never happened, okay? When Jesus went into the underworld, okay? First of all, people who are in the underworld who are humans are only six feet under. <laughs> Otherwise, they're just wherever they died at, whether it's in a, the woods, wherever. But other than that, they're just six feet under. <laughs> but the real underworld okay, is actually um, Tartarus, okay? And that is where the spirits are chained, okay? And um, that's where Jesus preached. He preached to the dead spirits, okay? Angels are spirits, okay? Demons are spirits. Fallen angels are spirits. Those are all called spirits. We're not called spirits. We're called souls. He breathed into us and we became a living soul, okay? But the soul that sinneth shall die, okay? Now, um, the wages of sin is death, okay? Death is an end, okay? So that was an end because Jesus, his soul didn't die when he went down to preach because he's immortal, okay? He's immortal. So he died to the flesh, right? But he, his soul never died. He went down there to preach, okay? You can't preach and be dead at the same time. But then he resurrected. And this is what the Lord also shared with me before, but... um. I never verbally said it, but anyway, um, I'm now saying it. I never vented this to nobody, but yes, when Jesus Christ died, yes, he died, but it's more than what you think. You think that he died in the sense of his soul. No, he gave up the ghost, meaning spirit, okay? Meaning the breath of life, okay? But he's also immortal. He was also God, okay? So he went down there preaching. When you die, you don't go nowhere preaching anywhere, okay? If you if you die in the woods, you're just next to the autumn leaves. That's that it's case. That's that's the fullness of you until you resurrect when it's resurrection day, whether you're going to be resurrected, separated from sheep and goats or whether you're going to be resurrected in the first um, in the seventh trumpet where you're resurrected with the rest of the saints. So anyway, um, try not to challenge people who have like fasted hard about a topic and they've they've you know, they've labored in, 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 in prayer and fasting. Try, try not to debate with those people. Try to try to do that, you know, you know, try to make room for the fact that hmm, maybe I never really went as hard in seeking this knowledge out with somebody who did go as hard as that. And, that, and that's the ugly thing. I never like to debate with people who who, you know, know the stats in football and basketball and, and baseball and all these. But I don't I don't debate with those people. I don't debate with people and things that I never labored in.
But anyway, God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Annihilation is a doctrine from God.